first thing that ever sparked my interest in electronic music was when I was about 13, I stumbled upon a video of Tiesto playing to, like at the Olympics or something along those lines. And eventually I ended up going to a concert in LA. It was called Hard Day of the Dead. And after I saw Dead Mouse perform, I was so inspired by the beats and how simple they sounded, but very hypnotic almost. And I just felt like I needed to go home right away and start working on music. And that's exactly what I did. At the end of the day, I wanted to kind of add these goggles to my face to make it a very obvious thing that I am this hypnotic person and I make hypnotic music and I want it to kind of just be this full circle thing. I think the most important thing that I personally can do to put on a successful show is just get as into it as possible and be as interactive as possible with the audience, whether it be pointing at somebody specific that I see with like a certain totem or somebody else wearing the same goggles as me. I just try to be interactive with the crowd and for me the best shows in my opinion are the ones where I'm the most energetic and the most engaged in every single song that I play. I think the thing that resonates with my fans so much is that they can tell that my music is extremely authentic and I make it from a place of just extreme passion and also that since I have the goggles and since my show is like very hypnotic, it's like it ticks a lot of boxes and I think having all those things at once working together, they really, really begin to enjoy it. In regards to my EP, my fans can definitely expect to hear music that they would want to hear from me, just whatever they've classically been into me for, but also a more evolved sound and definitely more collaborations with more vocalists. Listen, listen, listen.